Boom shakalaka. Welcome back, America, to a Tokum Tip'em Back Tuesday on Thanksgiving week. Happy early Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, brother. The Redoubtable Born himself, Tom, is a highly question on Audrey Miliancho, Segment 1, NFL, Week 11 recap. Um, I'm sad we can't do a Thanksgiving I know. episode. If I was in town, we'd do a Thanksgiving right, we night would. episode. We certainly would. Um, With turkey and We're going to have to make potatoes. the most of it tonight. I promise you we'll make up for it on Saturday night because Saturday night's going to be a lot of fun. Because um, it always is. Thanksgiving weekend is always to me. Most underrated holiday by far. Most underrated holiday by far. Not, by far. not even close. It's, uh, but what's, what's more underrated? Everybody loves Thanksgiving. It's not underrated. Not from not, not people are just talking about Christmas, 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 Christmas. Nah, dude, everybody Christmas, loves Christmas, Thanksgiving, Christmas. dog. I that's my argument. You gotta be kidding me. Everybody loves Turkey Day, but I swear to God, everywhere I go, everywhere I've been talking, it's like all about Christmas shopping and Black Friday. Okay, Black so, Friday has taken a, a whole lot. That's insane. All right, you have a point there. It's it is. Like, it oh, is looked past. It looks past it. They don't sit there and get but jazzed that's, up. That's for more it. recent. Well, what, that's this more been going recent. on forever. Black, I think it's more 20, 15, 20 years. That's 20 years, though. I know. That's still recent in terms uh, look, of... Look, I love Christmas, and he'll back me up on this as much as anybody, okay? But I... My favorite time of year. But I, I, this whole thing, this three months, Halloween is my baby. But, I mean, listen, Thanksgiving, I, this, I love this, this time of year because of all three holidays. They each deserve to stand on their own and be celebrated. And I think Thanksgiving kind of gets pushed around because it's like, all right, well, it's after Halloween, but then Christmas. It's like, so you kind of just get, get to it so we can get to Christmas and Christmas. And like, let's just enjoy Thanksgiving, man. Thanksgiving Day football is still a glorious thing. Yeah, it's and still, that's what I'm saying. Everybody it's, it's still awesome. loves Thanksgiving. It's, it's awesome. I know. Christmas it, it, is the big gun behind it. To, it well, it's the trifecta. It hits the end. It's like, the, you know, the, the end. On, of, you can't put Halloween as the trifecta. No. It's part of the, tri the, the trifecta, the three of them. They're the three best holidays, I think. I think so. All three of them? Yeah. There, the three was always. You give me you 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 name me one that's better any of those three other than each other. No, you're so, right. You're right. Those are the three best holidays in my opinion. And the fact they come back to back to back is fucking perfect. I guess I saw it as a real duo, you know. And Halloween's fun, you know. But it's, Halloween's a lot of fun. Yeah, but that it's, whole month. And Halloween, there's a build. So up. I think it's different for yeah. me. I, I I see them as different types of holidays because of the well, family they, aspect. Well, okay, well that's you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. you don't yeah typically go places on Halloween. No, I mean if you a, if you live home. near your relatives and you and you have kids, they'll come sure, over. Exactly, because the kids are true. They want to see all that, and that's fun. I get all that. But if you don't, no, it's not like a big. But Although my cousin and uncle and aunt used to come down for Halloween because they See, that's cool. they were Halloween people. Yeah, that's awesome. And I sometimes they go to my parents because my parents have a crazy, yeah. like, thousands of kids, so they yeah. they go out and hand candy. Yeah, that's fun. So that's kind of cool. That's fun. I love you're, that. you're right. It is it, a trifecta. It's a, it's a trifecta, all three of them. And the fact they're back to back to back is even great. But I think that, I just think Thanksgiving doesn't get enough of a, on the actual day, it's awesome. But there's no real buildup to it. There's no real buildup to it. Halloween is a buildup. Christmas is certainly a buildup. Thanksgiving I mean, comes out of nowhere. It kind of yeah, it's just kind of like, but it's like, it, you know, what it, the fuck? It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's like what? It's a great fucking weekend. It, you know, it's, it's funny. It's the most traveled holiday. That's the day before Thanksgiving is the hot, busiest traveling day of the fucking year. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not. It's not forgot because everybody still does it. Everybody yeah. still loves it. Mm -hmm. It's not. The sexy and everybody, you know, if you're in that town, you go to your high school football game, you meet your your buddies at the bar, and you get liquored up. It's a whole fucking, you know. I haven't done something like that in a while. I have. Well, I don't live near there anymore, but I mean, yeah, I mean, so, but that's tradition too, in and of itself, it's awesome. So I mean, I just, well, I'm just saying. Don't they say the the biggest bar night of the year is the night before Thanksgiving, or is it Thanksgiving night? The night before, and, and that's and, when everybody comes back yeah, home. Everybody comes back home. Yeah. And they meet the night before Thanksgiving. I've done that in Fredericksburg. Yeah, yeah. We've gone to Brock's on Wednesday yeah. night. It's beautiful. It's thing. a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Shit, that's, tomorrow's that's, Wednesday. Maybe I'll take Casey out. There you go. So you might still do this. So. Shoot. So anyway, happy early Thanksgiving to you. This is segment one, NFL recap. Look, a lot of... Um, I don't know if anything was in terms of clarity. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we, we found out this week. We, we kind of already knew it, but there, I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of, there's a lot of teams that are going to, because as good as Philly and, 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 and Casey appear to be in terms of their record, both are very beatable. I agree. They're both very beatable. Totally they're, 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 they're both very, Neither one of them, to me, it looks like the best team I've seen all year when healthy. They, no, they're not. No, playing against no. each other, so, you saw yeah. the, flaws, the flaws, and everybody keeps going, yeah. oh, they haven't played a complete game. Maybe they can't play a complete game. If it's week 10, 
<laughs> and we're st- you can't. He's right. You can't play. That's a p- thank you for saying that. <laughs> Wonderful. Again, never played, never coached, but that's a valid point. I can see if, what I'm saying. If you've been doing this for nine weeks in a row, that's kind of you are who you are. Right. It's, it's not like it's a. It's one thing if it's one or two weeks, but nine, ten, yeah. eleven. No, that's, that's. I mean, they're still good. No, they're, they're good. Very look, good teams. Look, KC has a shot. Philly has a shot because they're among they're top ten teams, only top five teams maybe. Look, but people they're are not. acting like Detroit can't get in there. Why are they doing they that? Detroit already went into KC and won too. Somebody was uh, like, "There's no way Detroit's beating San Francisco or Philly," and I was like, "I disagree the, with that." The only thing I will say is, if you ask me, all right, well, who has the best A games I've seen? It's San Fran, then it's Baltimore. In terms of A game, when I've seen the A game of all, I've seen every team's A game at least once. The two best A games I've seen are San Fran and Baltimore. Well, but and no, they did you it also against. Have to put Miami. And in by the way, game. they didn't know because they. These two did it to playoff teams. San Fran okay. did it to Dallas, and Detroit, and 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 Baltimore did it to Detroit. Thirty-eight to six, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that they, is, they 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 yeah, bitch that, slapped. That's them. true. I mean, so I'm saying. Well, and Baltimore's I, defense feels underrated. I know. I think it's because they have the weapons on offense. But they're quietly top three. Like now, here's the other. Are thing. Are they top three? They're top three now. Here's the other thing. Um, the the thing about so, Mike Tomlin to me would be coach of the year if it was not for the guy in Houston. Mm. Because Mike Tomlin, I said it before on the show, I said smoke and mirrors. Look, (laughs) I know that division is the best in football right now. It is. Top to bottom, it is. You kind of have to give it to them. They're all fucking, I mean, the worst team in the division is Cincinnati, and they're only out of it because they lost their quarterback. Yeah. Because if that kid was standing upright, you can't outrule, you can't rule them out either. But, so, man, they were, they were a mystery up until that point, though. Well, they they whipped San Francisco. I know. They whipped them when they were healthy. But um, but then they lost to Houston. Not And Houston's good. I think Houston is the seek, is they're, the, they're, they're the best kept. I can lose you. Forget them in Detroit are going to be tough outs. Dude, in, I want to see C.J. Stroud in a playoff game. I do, and I think it's going to happen. You don't see rookie quarterbacks I'll tell you what, in playoff I'll games. I'll tell you what, we're going to find out a lot about Trevor Lawrence when these mm. guys play because they went in there and they beat them in Jacksonville. Jacksonville is the is the big enigma. What the fuck are they? No one seems to know. Um, so they have to go, they're going to have to go into Houston and win, and i got to ask you, that might be the game of the year. They've already played, right? In Jacksonville. And it was Houston close, won? but Houston won. Yeah. Mm. So Jacksonville that defense has, is legit. D'Amico Ryans was one of their best defensive players, and they had Watt there when Houston was good. It was those two. They had Hopkins on in his prime. They had the running – I forget the running back's name. And the quarterback, Carr. Um, who was the running the, back. Who was the running back? He was pretty good, too. Shit. I can't remember his damn name. The guy um, was like a poet? Um, the fuck was his name? I don't know, but he, he was, was really good. He was good. Um, they were – I mean, the problem is they kept running into the Patriots they have to during also the Brady. Have the crazy year. linebacker. D'Amico Ryans was the line. White guy. Watt was the lineman. Maybe it was before those guys. Remember there was like a crazy guy that like busted his head open, he took his helmet off and like Um I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Sorry, we'll slow the we'll we'll slowing the no, but anyway, topic down. The bottom line is there's a, th- th- those two teams are good teams. We saw them last night, but they're both very beatable. They're both very, very yeah. beatable. Brian Cushing. Uh, Brian Cushing, okay. Yeah, you remember was, him? Yeah, he was a beast. Um and he was part of that group. They went to the playoffs like four or five years in a row, but they kept running into the Patriots or the Steelers. They'd run into a heavyweight, a real heavyweight. Yeah. Um, and, the, and the quarterback was never good enough to be on that level. It was like even Roethlisberger. He wasn't with him. So no, I remember they had like Matt Schaub. Yeah, Matt Schaub, who was decent. He kind of came out of nowhere, but he wasn't a top upper echelon QB. And then who did it change? It was always somebody like... They had Carr for a while. Um, David? But that was before those before guys. Before those guys. But anyway, they, they, this team, this Houston Texans team right now, is not to be taken lightly. They are. This is not a fluke. They are for real. Okay. They've gone into Jacksonville and Cincinnati and won. Arian Foster. Arian Foster. That was the back. Yeah, he was a back. beast. Yeah. yeah, he was awesome. Mm-hmm. So this team, I'll tell you what, they flipped that thing quick because they got the quarterback. And by the way, guess who the GM is? Nick Casario. Who, is? who was the GM during the first part of the Patriots dynasty? Really? Yep. After they won their third and fourth year, the Patriots got plucked. Weiss, Romeo Cattell, off it. Both coordinators gone, and Nick Casero went a year later. So that those where three. Where did he guys, go? Has he been there the whole time? No, he went somewhere. He went somewhere else before and built a winner. I forget where it was. Um, but he is the architect there. And all well, the dude, extra, all the former Patriots are talking about him, going, "Well, well yeah, dude. Nick knows how to build a team." Well, <laughs> but here's the thing, that, and we forgot this as we're looking back on the Texans. Yeah, they flipped Deshaun Watson. 
That's what did – remember? Because mm-hmm. they had Deshaun, and they were a good team with him. Yeah. He was great yeah. for, like, three five years. Five years. Five. Five years. He was, he was really yeah. a really good quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think better than a lot of people even – Knew he could be. He, before this whole fucking yeah, before fiasco, he was a top five quarterback in the league. Yeah. He really was. And, and like, um, you looked at him as a leader, a character. It's crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. He flipped. And just boosh, he flipped. right off the cliff. Um, and, and they got, like, five picks for him. They did. And then the Browns paid him 255 and, But, again, it's one thing to have the picks. Another thing to, to hit them. That's true. They hit on him. They hit on him. That this you look at you need to go look at that Texans roster. There is talent there on that roster. Talent, yeah. <laughs> that was a quick. Just the receivers yeah. alone. But they but they they got good lines on the interior, both sides. They, 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 listen, they picked up Schultz they, at the tight end. They ends. picked up the tight end. Schultz. They got a veteran, underrated, tell, underrated tight end. Like Dallas never should let him go. I know the kid now is playing pretty good, but Schultz to me, he he's really good. Um, and I got news for you. C.J. Stroud is the best rookie quarterback is having by miles since maybe Dan Marino. Or John Elway. Those two guys both had amazing rookie years. Um, Peyton Manning threw 26 touchdowns, but he threw 28 picks. Okay, so. Yeah, he I would mean, throw three picks a game. He would throw two touchdowns and three picks a game is what <laughs> yeah, he would do. Basically. Um, but he came around quick. They turned that around quick, too. But, I mean, the thing is. Well, they were letting him go. They yeah, were, like, just fucking. Yeah. And, and again, th- those are when you could maul the receivers. You can't touch them now. Okay, Purdue, Purdue won. Uh, Purdue living up to that number two ranking as we're talking to you. College called Maui Classic. Gotta love the Maui Classic. And by the way, on deck right now, number one Kansas versus number four Marquette. That's for the championship, it's, isn't it? No, it's the semi. Oh, the other semi. semifinal. The winner's gonna play so Purdue. Oh my god. Could be Kansas. Dude, Purdue. College basketball knows what the they fuck know what they're is doing. Up. They know what they're doing. Jeez. Yeah. Especially at this time of year, they on a Tuesday before Thanksgiving. They don't fuck around. Why wouldn't you put this on? They don't fuck around. They're like, oh, we can do what? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, everybody's kind of chilling. Yeah. I mean, last week they had Duke, Kansas, and they had Michigan, and they had Michigan State. And they, they, they had some stud games. It, it's been that way since the start of the yeah. season. They've had they put the heavyweights together early. They don't I fuck love around. how they start the season like that. Yeah. Then you go to conference play, and that's good too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You Definitely. know, there's some stinkers every now and then. No, there's always going to be. You have 325 yeah, exactly. Division One. There's going to be a stinker in there. It's but like, like, then you still but, have UNC Duke, and you know what I mean. Oh, like, UConn. Who'd they beat today? I forget, but they they look somewhere. every bit as good as last year when they won. They won the national title last year. Is that Danny Hurley? He's there. Right. That's right. They did win. They're loaded. They're Those fucking. Fuckers. I'm telling you, that guy's a madman. There, he's. A, I played against him. He's a madman. Really? Man. Yeah. He's my age. Yeah. Um, he played. We played. Um, and, and by the, way, the other guy, his teammate, he was, would scare me. His a teammate bit. I was about to. Fight his him, teammate was Roderick me. Rhodes, who played for Patino at Kentucky. <laughs> Roderick Rhodes, who I, this dude, six seven wingman, lefty, fucking. How big was he at your age? He was six seven. No. Grant Hill was six seven when I met him. At sixteen. Chris Webber was legit six nine when I met him. <laughs> that is crazy. Chris Webber and I was got a fight. It was like, I actually did get in a fight. But I mean, the thing is, like, um, that was some epic trash talking, by the way. But it was wonderful. <laughs> Because that was when you could say things about your mother, but then you go too far. <laughs> so anyway, and that's but, why I fucked yeah, your mother. Yeah, that's right. No, no, it was a girlfriend mother thing. Because he said I always he, thought it was crazy that people yeah. like, like that was the line. Well, it's like if you're going at it in a in a basketball game, and you have like Bobby Knight's in the stands, and Lou Olson's in the stands, and Rick Pitino's in the stands. No, but I'm saying like and John Thompson. Like, like and, you don't know my mom, so it doesn't even affect me. When you don't know my something. girlfriend either. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I never understood why the mom was like, oh, shit, I had to punch him. He talked about my mom. I thought the mother thing. Didn't Stand By Me explain this? Making fun of one's mother was always held in high regard. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, remember the Titans, the Yo Mama why jokes. Why is Edie's remember, number Remember so the Yo Mama small. jokes? Bertier yeah. almost got to win. What's his name? Big Jules had to calm him down. Right, like, he does no, like, like, talk about like Bertier's mom like that, but now I can take your mom out. Right, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, mom <laughs> jokes should, like, you should laugh if it's a good one. Dude, Louis Lassick had the best one ever, though. Remember Louis? Who's Louis? Louis Lassick from the Titans. Yeah, remember he did? Oh. He walks by. He goes, "What's the matter?" Louis's uh. like, "Oh, I just got finished making give me another piggy bag, and she weighs twice as much as I do." Yeah. <laughs> I was. That's the one I always do when my when my kids are like, "Tell a mom joke, man." Oh that's god. the one I do. Oh my god, that was classic. And the thing is, he he burned him so bad, yeah, he turned around. They were all laughing. Julie, like, yeah, that was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> he was pissed too. He was he so was mad. He was like. My was it Petey? It was Petey. Right? Petey. Yeah, Petey. Petey knew it was funny, but he was so mad he couldn't right. laugh. He Petey, Petey was like, the guy who couldn't laugh at himself. <laughs> he couldn't laugh at himself. He was like that. The, the best is when he's like, when Denzel's like, boy, why is your hand raised? And he's like, mm-hmm. football's fun. And did like, you see the Tom Brady? <laughs> that was cool. Tom Brady and Denzel did that. Did you see the oh, they did? I yeah. sent it to you. No, I didn't see You that. didn't look at that? I said, Tom. And I I'm screamed. Sorry. I didn't see oh, it. Oh, my Where God. I sent this to him. 
because he's he's probably the oh, biggest. Oh, right here. Yeah, look at oh, this. Oh, I didn't. That. I'm sorry. It's it's Tom Brady and Denzel so Tom's at the top, so I and didn't. Denzel's and that's Denzel. Coach Washington. <laughs> Tom, That's awesome. Tom Brady and Denzel That's did it. Amazing. That was I sent that to him. Put like that, that hand man. Like, yeah, put the, he I thought you would love that. I'm sorry, I didn't oh see it. Oh my god, That's I said, great. That, that made my day. I was like, oh my god, Tom's gonna love this. Uh, anyway, but no, the mother joke thing, yeah. I mean, as I got older, of course, we were fifteen when this happened. So I came to appreciate the whole thing about if you can get a good one on someone's mom. Just know, just know that redemption or, or the or the payback is coming. Yeah, because yeah. they're they're gonna be getting yeah, one by your mom. Don't get mad when they, hit, get mad when they hit back on it because if you're gonna dish it out, you better be able to take it. So anyway, and J- Big Jules was cool about that. He set the tone for the locker room there. If you saw the movie, you saw the movie. You, we know you saw the movie because we've, we've we've given you half the lines in it. So anyway, yes. hang on, Bertier. Um, man, why are you getting on Bertier's mama? Yeah, I, I think I'm getting mad. Now, now <laughs> I'm gonna take your mama out tomorrow. Night. <laughs> oh, and then he goes, take your mama we'll take your mama so. and those big mm-hmm. biscuit heads. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when Bill's like, yeah. hey, tell your yeah. mama to shave that nasty ass back of hers. <laughs> Bert Tiff, mama, and I went on the town last night. <laughs> <laughs> blue was funny as shit. Blue is funny. Actually, was that blue? Yeah, that was blue. It was blue. And it was also red. blue who, who needed water. And then what? Then, then her. Yeah, when they fought? When, no, no, when they were in practice. Oh, yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, we need yeah. a water break. And he goes, water? <laughs> 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 what is for washing blood off that uniform? You don't get no blood on my uniform, boy. You'll be outside. I remember when and Bruce, then he turns and uh, Yost is like, yeah. there's a there's a line, line between tough and crazy and you're flirting and with him. And he's just looking at the way he's smiling with that whistle. <laughs> <laughs> and the second he hits it again, then somebody throws <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> he does the double yeah, blood the double to double stop him. Oh, man. All right. We're way off track. We're way off track. track. <laughs> anyway, so look. This Sunday we saw... What are we going to... Well, well, see Yoda and watch movies together. Uh, with uh, maybe this weekend. We should. We need to do that and go to the movies. Oh my god. Yeah, but is there any? See, we need to find a good one. Yeah, it's gonna and be, then it's gotta be a good. And one. then it's, it's Cheech and Chong's yeah, movie. It's gotta be some trip. Like that. Yes, that has to be like that. Um, what is the white version of Cheech and Chong? That's a good question. I don't know. TV shows. It's that '70s show. That's well, no, se- no, but I mean, like, the, if we were to do an Italian version of the duo. What would it be? I don't know. We could Guido do and Guido. We could do, we could do our names. Megan is. No, we could Megan. <laughs> Megan is. Megan is. <laughs> Izzo and Miggy. Izzo and Miggy. That's terrible. Miggy um, and Izzo. Like you know, what I'm saying. Uh, like I'm trying to think of a duo like that. We'll have to come up with it. We'll have to. Well, you know, we we we, we have to Ronnie think about and this. Tommy. First of all, we have to think about this in a in a in a Jedi session because that's where we're going to spawn the idea. Right now, we're just. Well, I mean, this is basically a Jedi. No, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> every one of he's our podcasts lying. is he's a not Jedi lying. Session. But anyway, we got to do it like between works because then it comes to us. It By comes the way, to Seth Greenberg um, and Jay Will together, yeah, it's glorious, really glorious. good. Yeah, seriously, it's good stuff. You can see um, that Jay Will like respects him. Oh, he knows. Um, I was a winning coach, and he, he knows. But they can still like he, yeah. you know, they can still disagree. They're a good stuff. duo. Yeah, they're a good they're duo. Good duo. Um, but anyway, look with the NFL this weekend, we saw some. I mean. Denver's five and five. I, I can't stand this coach, but I'll tell you what, they flipped it. They flipped it. They're in it. Yeah, it looked disastrous so. just three weeks ago. Remember, they lost the game 70 to 20. And they're in the mix. They're in the mix. Now, as much as you I hate the Chiefs, as much as I hate Peyton, he's done a hell of a coaching job. I don't know how many coaches could have turned a team around from a loss like that. <laughs> a loss like that kind of destroys you. Most teams do not get off the mat after something like that happens. Yeah. Not only did they get off the mat. They were getting kicked while they were they down. Were, yeah, they were getting kicked while they were down. They were getting stomped. So, and there was dissension. There was this. There was finger. I'm telling you. they. And Russell Wilson, to his credit, <clears throat> he has he looked done. Good the other he, I'll tell you right now, he is quietly, and I said it before the game, that's why I picked Denver. He was having the best year I've seen him have in a couple of years. Um, he didn't look great last night until no. the end of the game. But that's the thing. At the end, he still has that in him. Yeah. And that, and by the way, you have to have a quarterback who can do that, who can, who can get you down the field, and he can still do that. And that gives Denver a chance. I swear, so, though, that game, Minnesota had no business losing that game. Madison fumbled. That was bad. Well, if you um, turn the ball over mm-hmm. three times, dude. Well, one of those, and and this was real time. That I knew that was a dirty hit. Which one was that? The guy got suspended four games. Oh, that's for right. It. Yes, yes. He went. Yeah. I mean, he 
when you when they used to call it spearing, mm -hmm. right? When you yeah. drop your head yeah, it, and you go right, right into in, somebody's yeah. chest, yeah, that's or and, their ribs or right. something. And like he that, yeah. went right, like mm -hmm. right under his mm -hmm. right under his helmet. Yes, the, to the quarterback. To the quarterback, no less. And it wasn't even called a penalty. That was a bad no call. And now the guy suspended um, four games, and he didn't fact, even get a flag. The thing was, everybody I was talking to that night said the same thing. That's a, that's a penalty. Yeah, and it there wasn't one points person, for Denver. Yeah, there wasn't one person that didn't think it was a penalty no, that I talked to. Because he launched You himself. were one of at yeah. least 14 people I talked to that night because I was getting texts coming in. I'm like, they're like, how did they not call it? How did they not call it? And you look at the replay, and it's even more obvious right. on the replay. Right. You're like, oh, my God. this is Well, a the guy's blatant. running out on his own and gets... But it so, was, it, I know it was a bang bang, but it was an obvious oh, bang it was bang. A bang. It wasn't yeah. like it was a, it was a, like, the, no, you saw it and you heard it. You saw it. them both. You come, heard it. Yes. You heard it. And he fumbled. Like, yeah, and he fumbled. So, so that, that cost them yeah, three points. Denver scored three. Who three knows there. what Minnesota would have done? I mean, look. But you're right. I mean, three turnovers. Again, but three turnovers. And, you, and on the road. Fumbled. And look, they outgained him by almost 100 yards. He's right. But the yeah. thing is, you turn, and this is the thing about the NFL. Three turnovers were yeah. on the road, and the other team played a clean game. They had no turnovers. <laughs> you can't lose the turnover differential no, not, by three. Not by three. And win. Not on the road. And if you, you might do, get with it at home, maybe. But it's still, it's still a But if you do, it's on a the miracle. road. On three the road, turnovers, it's On the road, it's not happening. Yeah. It's not happening. If the team has any fucking sack at all, it's not happening. And right. Denver has been resilient. You have to say that for them. So they're in it. They're in second place right now. And with the Chiefs uh, losing at home, they've already beaten the Chiefs once. This yeah. thing's not over. So, look, to me, what, what came out of this was the two best teams I've seen this year at their, at their peak have been San Fran and Baltimore. To this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't count. Uh, of course, Miami got off the schneid and beat a team that was 500, but they were 500. They're who'd not they, who'd they beat? the Raiders. And they barely beat well, them. They barely, they beat them they, yeah, beat it was them. close. The Raider defense, by the way, did a hell of a job on them. That game was 17-10. Yeah, the Raider and, defense did a hell of a job. That was in yeah. Miami, by the way. Raider defense did a hell well, of a job. Another, another yeah. coaching yeah. job to yeah. be yeah. looked at yeah, Antonio he's well. Pierce. He's doing well, yeah. I mean, when mm -hmm. he – now, I know – you can't give him tons of credit because he's been only been doing it for three games. But no, but they, they look like a different they have team. Some sort of juice now. They look like a different yeah, team. They do. They just do. So no, that's credit to him. And look, I always said Josh McDaniels was nothing without Tom Brady. I was vindicated in that. <laughs> so the thing is, the only other thing they ever said Josh McDaniels do was 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 Mac Jones' rookie year. And I didn't. I was mad at him then, but he's way. He was obviously way better than Matt Patricia. Everybody is. I am. Well, but, yeah. but still, he didn't do a bad job with Matt. With 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 Mac. He did a good year. job. He did a good him. job. So as an offensive coordinator, he's pretty good. Um, but as a head coach, that's not his thing. He's would you? Do you think Bill him. would consider him? I don't oh, think O'Brien. I don't think O'Brien's the problem. They don't have any talent. People are blasting O'Brien. They don't have any fucking talent. At the end of the day, you can sit there and you can scheme and scheme. If you don't have any fucking town and your line stinks on top of it, what can you really do? I mean, well, what can you really do? If you don't have Brian, players. you can lobby for Mac Jones. I think he will. Because? Because honestly, if you've been watching college football, I mean, other than the kid from Washington, Penix, to me, he's the best quarterback I've seen all year. Penix. Every time we watch him. Every time he's going, he's been, he's every been, time and he's been in him, big game he makes after throws, big game yes. after he big game. Fucking throws We've seen where you're like, about three ranked teams or four ranked teams. Yeah. He has stepped up in clutch time he's against the awesome. legit teams every fucking time. And he gets hit. And he gets hit. And he, he makes uh, fucking I'm saying, dimes he to is, the sideline. He's line. not even, in, I don't even know where he, I don't, no one has mentioned him as a Heisman candidate. They need to rethink that. Because why, and by the way, why haven't they? Well, they they should not because they they leapfrog Florida State. They're now four. Florida State's five. Mm. Even though Florida State won in Miami, which was a big win. That was tough. Miami's a tough place to play. Miami's better for us. Yeah, but Washington's won. better than Florida State. I think they are. Although th although that to tell you about the quarterback for Florida State, he's legit too. And he got hurt in the Miami game. That's the thing. Oh really? Yeah, he got hurt in the Miami game. But like, he came back, but they they played a good portion of that game without him, and they stayed with them and they won. What's what's um, Florida State's QB's name again? It's. I'm trying to remember him. Thomas Trey Thomas, something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, but look, I'm trying to remember he, him from the uh, he's legit. Boston College game. I, I'm saying, well, the thing is, look, Michigan Ohio State. We're going to pick this game later on in this next segment, but we're going to talk about. It. But Michigan Ohio State's going to knock one or the other out of this. So there's a very good chance that Florida State and Washington are both going to be in this playoff. <laughs> there's a very good chance they are if they both run the table. Um, now look, Florida's going to have to play Louisville, and I'll say it before you: if you have not seen Louisville, I'm telling you right now. They're ranked ninth. Yeah, they're legit. They're off. They're legit. They are. The ACC has three or four very legit teams this year. Clemson. Yeah, UNC and Duke. UNC were pretty good. Uh, UNC. Um, Clemson's playing good. Clemson again. woke up. Well, Notre Dame turned turned Clemson mm -hmm. season right. Clemson looks like Clemson. Do you remember when they were playing that game? And I was like, well, yeah. Clemson. 
They're, they're going to give Notre Dame a game, and then they beat Notre well, Dame. Well, they was in Death Valley. That's a hard place to play, and, and that, listen. They shouldn't have been as bad as they were in the beginning. No, of the they game. were better than their record. I think people who watch football know that, but they, you know, they, and again, they came under fire. Dabble Sweeney got in with some stupid 21-year-old kid who was criticizing him, and he's like, look, you snot, that was a little shit. And he's like, we got two national championships in the past 10 years. There's only two other programs that have done that, Alabama and Georgia. Eat a dick. And by the way, people say, well, he got defensive. I'm like, I'm not taking, if I'm him. I'm not taking shit from some 21 year old college student who's never played football. Was it? A, I don't think it was a 21 year old. He was a college kid. Oh, it was, was a radio it? show. Yeah. He called in, right? They were. He was on his show, I think. I think he called in. Yeah, whatever it was. He was and he's like, look, you, you don't. We, every team when you try to rebuild is going to be ebbs and flows. Yeah. It's going to happen. Um, and he's like, but and he said all the right things, but then he snapped on him. He's like, yeah, he went off listen, some 20 year old kid tell me my. And by the way, you're like, well, he got defensive. I'm like, well, yeah, he got defensive because fuck this kid. <laughs> I got defensive too. I'm like, who the fuck are you to criticize me? How many rings are on your fucking finger? How many recruiting classes have you brought in? What was it like before I was here? Yeah, and by the by the way, that's the real question. I mean, that's what was it like before I got here? Wasn't like it is now. Yeah, yeah. Now it's only news when we lose, right? Because we're expected to win all the time. That has changed, like and he we changed beat that. Alabama. We beat Alabama in the national championship game. <laughs> Eat a dick. Who the fuck else? <laughs> yeah, seriously. No. So and Not look, many. they beat Notre Dame this year. Notre Dame again. Their coach fucked them. Notre Dame should have, Notre Dame should be in the playoff. That coach fucked them twice. Um, so anyway, um, but the thing is, the ACC has got at the top is, is legit. It's legit. I don't know about the depth of it. BC has fucking done what BC does. They look like they could run the table, and they've lost teams that on paper they're better than. That's ACC be- usually has athletes though. They always like, have athletes. I mean, yeah. even when the teams aren't good, yeah, guys are athletes. getting drafted from yeah, those Lamar teams. came out of Louisville. Right. So, and I mean, there's corners yeah, on yeah. like Maryland yeah. usually. Florida has State usually is not the boy. Yeah. So I mean, they go going going back to Virginia Dion. Tech. Virginia Tech has, has yeah. NFL talent. Yeah. No, I'm saying there's a lot of NFL talent yeah. in the ACC. Yeah. And this year the conference is deeper. Miami looks like they're coming. They're not Miami yet again, but they're heading that direction. They're ascending. Mm. Florida State looks like they're back. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if Florida State and Miami come back, you watch what happens to that conference because those two were pillars in the, in yeah. the last 30 years. Of well, America. what is happening to the ACC? Because didn't Stanford join it? Cal, Stanford, and there's a third one. Was it Washington State? SMU. SMU. It came out of the, yeah. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. Because SMU. SMU is high profile, but they're kind of... Well, what, what I think the ACC is going to have... They were either, well, because their conference, they all left that conference. Right. Back in the day when they were the Pony Express, right. Texas, Oklahoma, yeah. they were all in that... They called well, the Southwest yeah. Conference. Is that where there's they a still thing, were? were they it's this, a different name now. Was it SWAC or no? It, it like might Sun be. Belt it's something like that. Some it's not Sunbelt. I think it's the SWAC. Southwestern Athletic Conference, I think. Mm. Um, uh, Houston ACC is in it. ACC will help them. ACC will help them recruiting-wise. Houston and should leave, too, because... I think they are. They've had some years. Yeah. Basketball and football where they've been good yeah. lately. They have. They have. So, um, basketball especially. Um, that Five yeah. sla- Jamma. People talk about the Fab Five. Whoever never saw Five Slamma Jamma? I never saw them. Dude, Hakeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler. Two Hall of Famers. <laughs> see, and they weren't the only ones. <laughs> see, I didn't they, realize that they were in Houston and then... Ewing beat them in the final. Georgetown, it was Patrick Ewing and Elijah. That was the first time they met. Georgetown beat them in the final in 84 for their national championship. They beat so five Ewing won the title in 84, lost Over, over Elijah won. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. They went th- they, they went three out of four his four years, and they, they Dude, lost twice. That, how did I not know that he's my favorite athlete? I don't know. I, that's why I'm here. He is from Cambridge, Mass. No, I mean, that, <laughs> to me, that gives so much more credibility. Because I've always loved Patrick. You Ewing. know why he lost in 85 to Villanova? Villanova shot still an NCAA 80% record. 80%? 80% from the yeah, floor. By the way, that. they beat him by two. Two! <laughs> you think if, if a team but shot by 80%? they lost to Jordan the next year, right? That was Jordan the first year. They beat uh, Five Slamma Jamma the next. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Lost to Jordan. Beat five Slamma Jamma and then lost to Ed Pinkney and so 84, 85, 86, 82, 84, and 85. Mm. They didn't go in 83. I didn't realize Ewing got a championship. Yeah, 83, that was when um, NC State Valvano's team won <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. over Houston. Five Slamma Jamma, five Slamma Jamma went back to back. Mm. They lost in 83 to, to, to Jim Valvano's team. They lost in 84 to Patrick Ewing's team. Damn. Five Slamma Jamma was filthy. And then Elijah and Drexler teamed up in '96 and, right. and got their I championship to together. I didn't realize that yeah. because but when you Drexler came them. back, but Drexler wasn't Drexler. Dude, you should have seen that that team in college. 
They were the first real alley oop lob. They were fucking sick. Because well, Drexler they was were. one of the best athletes but in the, the league. whole the whole so team. Was Elijah. Elijah, the whole starting five. They all who, could who jump. Else was on the I year? forget Remember their any names, any? like Connie Hawkins. Uh, not Connie Hawkins. Was, uh, I have to look it up. But when I see their names, I'll come back. But yeah. all five guys were air walkers. <laughs> all fucking five of them could just jump out of the gym. That's why I call them five slam a gym. Because five of them. Fuck was you. Was it like UNLV? Like, it was better. What, what did they call them? The Runner Rebels. The, that was no, the but I mean, did they have a... No, that, 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 they were known for the Amoeba defense. I remember they called uh, Stacey, Stacey Young, Young Larry Plastic Johnson, Man. Plastic Man, Larry, Larry Johnson. Grandmama. Was, Grandma, Larry Johnson. He was the coolest fucking basketball dude, player ever. Dude, he was just... Oh, my God. He was Barkley in college. And he made <laughs> he but, made three all-star but, teams but in the bad. NBA. <laughs> he did. Yeah. But he got, he got into his back. His back. His yeah. back. Yeah, I, I know, mean, because... So he eventually... Everybody loved Larry Johnson. Mm-hmm. I mean... You couldn't hate the guy. He was grandmama on the commercials dunking in a dress. They almost went. This year, people forget because they, they blew out Duke in in, in ninety with that had her, that was a good Duke team. Hurley Lakers was on that team. Yeah, they they blew Duke up Duke up by thirty and they won the title in ninety. Okay, they only lost two games that year. Okay, the next year hmm. they're thirty four and zero, and, and they run into Duke. Duke in the final four. And some freshman by the name of Grant Hill showed up. Hmm. And he one held of the, one of the goats. He, he 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 locked down Stacy Ogman on one end and mm. scored 18 points on the other, and Duke beat them by one point. Jeez. They the last team to go undefeated in college was Bobby Knight's 76 Indiana team. UNLV like was see that. UNLV was one point, and they ran into Duke, who became a dynasty. That Duke team went back to back. They beat uh, they beat Kansas in the final. Then they beat the Fab was Five. Leitner with year. Hill. Leitner and Hill and Hurley together the whole time. They went back to back together, yeah. and then. Hill and uh, Leitner and Hurley left one by one, and then Grant Hill's f- uh, senior year, he carried Duke to the final, and they lost to, to uh, Razorbacks, uh, Arkansas, Arkansas, with Scotty Thurman and, and uh, what's no, the big guy's Nolan name? Nolan Richardson. Nolan Richardson's uh, 40 minutes of hell defense. Oh. And uh, who was the big, thick turret guy in the oh, What was fucking. his name? He played in the pro, Corliss yeah, Williamson. Corliss well, Williamson. He played for the Kings. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Scotty Thurman played. Scotty and, Thurman he played too. They team. both had long careers. Who was and, the big fucking guy with the mole on his face? Uh, he was a big guy. He used to shoot threes. I don't, I don't think remember. he really played NBA. I don't remember. But he was, yeah, I remember, I remember him. Williamson, he was Close strong as shit. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's our little trip down basketball lane for that a second. Fun. Um, but anyway, well, back, we're talking about NFL. Back to the NFL. <laughs> um, but anyway, the thing is, what we learned last night was that if those are the two best teams in the league, then there are 10 teams that can win this thing. Because I think there are 10 teams that can win the Super Bowl this year. I've never said that. There are ten, 10 teams. There are five in each conference that I could see going on a run. Five. And I think both conferences are that deep. And but one of them, by the way, you're going to laugh when I say this, is the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. No, I see. I'm no, looking. No. I'm struggling. To, are you including the Seahawks in that? Detroit. Because I'm trying to find the fifth. There's Detroit, San Fran, Philly, Dallas is four. Who was the fifth one? That's where I was. Hold on. Wait, I had it. Hold on. They'll come back to me. I mean, the only thing could be Seahawks or Minnesota, which I don't think either of them can. Um, the Seahawks, because of their receiving core, those three guys are as good as any three in the league. I give them a puncher's chance. But I don't know if they were but in the I five. Wouldn't, yeah. I mean, um, and it can't be New Orleans, hold on. right? If New Orleans quarterback would take his head out of his ass. Well, he won't, um, though. It was Philly, Dallas, Detroit. Yeah, Minnesota was the fifth one. Nah. Yeah. Because Minnesota should have won that game on Monday night. If they didn't have right, three turnovers. They can't win the Super Bowl. Not yes, they can. Dobbs. Why not? I don't see it. No one thought they could pass going with Tom Brady until they did it. Tom Brady was nobody. I don't, I don't see it in Minnesota. Talking about running quarterback, you always have a chance. All Minnesota has to do is take care of the ball when they're seven and four. That's true. And I got news for you. If they're the team that I think they are, they won't have three turnovers again. But who have they beaten that's, like, legitimate? I have to look, have to look over their schedule. I don't know that they've beaten, a, like, a I'd have tough to look, team. I'd have to look at their schedule. Hold on. Minnesota, um, they lost to Philly by six at Philly, 34-28. Um, yeah, but they, that, they, that game was... Chicago, they beat the 49ers. <laughs> what? Yeah, they beat the 49ers. That was with Kirk Cousins. This guy looks better than Kirk Cousins. No way. Yeah, he does. No way. He's already better than Kirk Cousins. No way. Already better. So they lost to the Bucks 2017. They had no business losing that, was a, that game. That was, there's, 
They, they, beat, were, they beat New Orleans God, in the first They place. lost to the Chargers, too. That was a blunder. That was in San Diego. I mean, no, in L.A. It wasn't. Yeah, no, it was on the road. It was in Minnesota. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Look. I'm not looking at you. I don't care about you. Let me see. I it wasn't home. Oh, wait, that was with Kirk Cousins. Yeah. yeah. No, Kirk's gone. The defense gave up 28. Kirk's gone. They beat the Panthers. They lost to the Chiefs. Kirk. They beat the Bears. Kirk. How did they beat the 49ers? Dobbs. No way. <laughs> no way. Was Purdy out? No, Purdy played. Oh, it was Purdy versus Cousins. Yeah. Cousins threw for 378. Two TDs on that defense. Yeah, the greatest game he ever played in his life. Oh, please. I would argue that was the greatest game he ever played in his life. No Not even close. Yes, or what one did he play better? I'm, I'm sure he's game. got 400-yard, four touchdown games. Not against a defense of that caliber, he doesn't. Oh, please. That's true. You just said the Niners' defense. They're, <laughs> you can't have it one way and not the other. <laughs> well, you can't tell me that Kirk Cousins sucks and then he can do that against I can that tell defense. you what Kirk Cousins does when, in the playoffs, which is nothing. Dobbs, I think, will be different. You you think the Minnesota Vikings can win the Super Bowl? Yep. No way. I'm not guaranteeing they're going to win. I'm saying they can. They, they can make a run. They could. Because they have a quarterback who is a dual threat, and he's got an arm. And by the way, he's accurate, too. He's also accurate. He's not just a – see, Lamar Jackson's problem is he still has a problem with the deep ball. I think Lamar is pretty accurate, like intermediate and lower, but Lamar still has a problem going down the field. Mm-hmm. Not that his arm's not strong enough, it is. He just has a problem right now, and maybe it's because he's never had these guys before. Maybe he'll adjust to it, but that's Lamar's only question mark. Every time we watch yeah. him, a it, Ravens, he overthrows him. Like he can't reach him. He overthrows yeah. him. So he—that's his only. That's the only thing I, I need to see left out of Although Lamar. Although the other, the I other think he made else. a great deep ball, and there was a really good defensive play. I wish I knew what the defenses were. When. Kirk Cousins has eight 400-yard games. Who gives – when? Washington? Who? Oh, well, he played with the – He was with Washington yeah. okay. against Philly, Cincinnati, Dallas. Philly and, and – was that 2014? Philly 2014. Philly always has a pretty good D. Um, Cincinnati 2016, I don't know. That was a Marvin Lewis defense. It was probably a very good defense. Dallas always has a good defense. Green Bay in 2018 – I don't know. Mediocre. Not mediocre. Detroit, not no. a good defense. Detroit. Indy, they usually have The Rams defense. in 2018 would be the one would be the one that matter. That defense was legit. The Pats beat mm. them in the Super Bowl. That defense was legit. I'll give them that one. The other ones I don't know about. The Rams one I know about. They were legit. So I'll yeah. give them that. Um, but he's also he's also always had a lot of weapons too. Let's not, that's let's true. not kid we'll ourselves. That. He's always had a full cupboard. I, think it's safe yeah, to say. I don't know about in Washington. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember who they had in Washington. Like, it was a, lot, a couple years. I don't you know, remember. Like, maybe I, have like to, I have to go back Santana and Santana Moss and shit like that. Washington's never has always seemed to have good receivers. It's always been the quarterback or the you know the defense could never stay healthy yeah. or something like right. that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, look, I think that there are ten teams that can win. this I agree thing. with the four. The, the other four. I would. Oh, the fifth I, four, I, I would put the Seahawks over the, the Vikings. The only problem with the Seahawks is I don't know. I don't, I don't trust Pete Carroll. <laughs> I just don't trust him. Well, I've seen him. You can make, trust him more than the guy from Minnesota. The other guy, I haven't seen him there yet, so I don't know if he'll, if he'll Remember fuck up. Remember last year? The, that was that coaching or was that the quarterback? Well, it was the defense. Their defense wasn't good all year long. I don't know what I mean. Defense. Their their defense was awful all year yeah. long. I mean, I guess it was the defense. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I mean, Pete, I don't Pete know. Carroll has a Super Bowl. He does. Uh, he had a, maybe one of the best defenses of this generation, the, the, the Legion of Boom. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's always been a defensive guy. He also had Russell Wilson, who's a Hall of Famer. Um, and he had Beast Mode. He's had, he's had, that was a loaded team. <laughs> so, and he almost went back to back. Not okay? great receivers. The good receivers, but not. Uh, Lockett's, Lockett's been, Lockett's good. I don't think Lockett was on that team. He wasn't on that it team? It was uh, Baldwin, remember? Baldwin was, was bald. good. Yeah, but not as good as Lockett or Metcalf. Well, Metcalf's up. I mean, Metcalf, Metcalf should, should be a fake. Patriot. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> Metcalf should be. He, he should, should be, be on a lot of other teams. He should be a Patriot. Tom Brady and and uh, I don't want to do it. fuck it. Fuck them. I'm gonna talk about them tonight. Fuck yeah. them. Yeah, ruin, they were on a bye. Not gonna ruin my night. Not ruin my night. Anyway, look. the other the other the other team I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. If we transition, uh, we'll go to the other conference. Pittsburgh really pissed me off. Pittsburgh's been pissing everybody off because the, I pick them and. Biggest reason I picked them was because I heard Dorian Thompson Robinson was playing. He played 
He didn't play great. No. At 160, he, all he, did, he didn't lose the game. That's all he did. And to me, if you're Pittsburgh with a defense that's supposed to be The above defense average, only gave up 13 points on the road. I know. I wouldn't say the defense lost that game. I'd say the offensive mm-hmm. coordinator. I'm sorry, the former offensive coordinator lost this game and the quarterback. Because the quarterback is all over Without the place. Without a doubt. Now, Without now again, doubt. I don't know if it's because of the offense. We're going to find out because now they've made a change. We'll see if this makes yeah, it Yeah, I wonder if it's going to change anything. It, well, I don't know, but Pittsburgh <coughs> has weapons. You're right. I was talking Pittsburgh, shit about the defense. Pittsburgh has weapons. Defense they, gave up 13 points. They annoyed, me at, they annoyed me at the end, though, because when they needed a stop, they didn't get it. But the offense remember blew that, it. Remember that and, throw that uh, he hit the 30-yard line on? <laughs> And there was nobody that in the whole camera. sequence. And by the way, <clears throat> Dan Olaf, by the way, the reason I lost my fantasy football league is because Car- J- Pickens, who Dan Olaf, they're all blasted. This is why the guy got fired. You have an, an all-star, all, an all-pro receiver there in Pickens, and he, he had four targets in the whole game. And in the last drive, he was targeted zero, not one, which Dude, is why I lost my fantasy league. The best two skill position players on that team, mm-hmm. by far, George Pickens and Jalen Warren. Yep. And those are the two guys that should get the ball the all the time. the time. Najee Harris shouldn't get 15 touches. I'm sorry. I'll tell you why he has to get 15 touches. Because if he doesn't, then your boy won't last. You have to have two ba- two backs in this in this today's day and age. And that guy is your battering ram. He's great for short yardage. He's uh, sorry, He's got to get 15 touches. But that doesn't mean your guy can't get 20. <laughs> Thank you. And on the, and on, but that, again, on that drive, but again, where they needed he, the score. He's not getting twenty, and Pickens is only getting targeted right, four right, times. Right. How is Pickens getting targeted four times? He is the best that's, athlete on the field that's, most that's nights. That's utterly ridiculous. How this kid is being targeted four mm-hmm. times, and there's no one that can cover him. I mean, and I look, I'm not knocking DeAndre Johnson. Johnson, he's a good receiver too. Yeah, that's but true. There's no way he gets Dude, targeted. God, what the fuck is going on out know. here? Suddenly, All of a sudden, we're getting sprayed. Yeah, like, what the hell just happened here? You know what? I have a, I have an umbrella. I just don't want the computer to get I know. That's why I need to get an umbrella. Wait. Wait, America. Hold on. I'm now taking a look at Kansas Marquette. Will it stay up? I'm going to find a way, America. Okay. He's got an umbrella up. Open an umbrella indoors. And trying to get it to pivot. And he's trying to protect the computer that we're recording on. Yeah. I'm watching Kansas Marquette. Shaka Smart on the sidelines, looking like he's playing defense. Not Shaka, um, do you say made his bones? He did. Made and his VCU. bones in Richmond. Richmond. 20 four. minutes north of here. VCU, my Alma. Five. My Alma, baby. My Alma. I gotta figure this out. Um, and he's going up against Bill Self and the Kansas fucking Fake Hawks. The defending national champion Fake Hawks? That's right. Yeah. No, no, Fake they're not defending. They won last year. Oh, no. You, said, you like, said. No, they didn't win. They beat UConn. No. You said UConn won. Yeah. UConn won. UConn beat them in the final. They have won it, though, in the past. They, they no, I, won I was kidding. Yeah. Kansas is bona fide. They're legit. Every year. Yeah. Oh! I don't know. Let's Marquette out. guy, Marquette lefty, shot a three, turned his back on the basket and made it. I like it. Good to figure that out. The break. Eight two Marquette. Margie disappears for two minutes. Anyways. Anyways. So. So Steelers really pissed me off because I I felt like they should have won that game. If you have any semblance of offense, and I know, it's yeah, Cleveland. They, Cleveland, Cleveland is, is a great league. defense. That's the best defense in the league. It's kind of like. It's you have hard. Jalen Warren. You have George Pickens. You can get field goals. You can get field goals. Cleveland is tough, man. I don't give a shit. Uh, they're the best defense in the league. By the way, before we take break, got a hot take for you. What? Now, I have no confirmation on this. This is just my own personal opinion. Because Cleveland is one of the ten teams I think can win the Super Bowl because their defense is that good. They're number one in defense. They're number three in the league in rushing at 142 yards a game. Okay? <laughs> here's what, if I'm Cleveland, here's what I'm doing. I'm picking up the phone tomorrow and I'm calling Tom Brady. <laughs> no way. Yeah, what? You I'm think he'd do it? I think he might. Let me tell you why, okay? Because I know this. They're 7-3, and three, and they, who were their quarterbacks the last three weeks? Put Tom Brady with Amari Cooper in that running game, and that I'll tell you right now. He'd be throwing to those backs. Oh, my God. And he would get those. I got news for you. 
this, and there's Tom, Elijah Moore out there. Elijah too. Moore is out there. Ooh, I'm really good. If, and I'm not saying Tom Brady would do it. I don't think he would. But if I'm Cleveland, I am making that fucking call. There are seven games left. That's it. Seven. Okay. Hey Tom, remember that elusive eighth ring? Would you like to get it? <laughs> because I introduce you. If that actually happened, Cleveland wins the Super Bowl. And they win it running away. Yeah, but he's not going to do it. I don't think he would, but if I am Cleveland, I am making the call because this team is ready to win right now, and the quarterback is going to be what stops So them. you don't think it's RG3? Did you see that? Um, I'm not saying don't call him. I think he No, RG3 three. went on his podcast and uh. said the Cleveland Browns should pick me up. Who's better, Tom Brady or RG3? <laughs> Shut up. Who's Why are you asking me? I'm that? just saying, if, I, if I'm Cleveland, I'm calling Tom first. No shit. He's the, I'm, I'm, he's the consolation. We know Tom's player. not doing it. Yeah, I don't know if Tom's not doing it. I don't. You think, just said he would. I said what I think and what he's thinking are two different things. I don't know. I understand, but I'm, do I think he would on, do that's it? That's a miracle no. scenario. But I think for, wouldn't that be great though? Because Cleveland is. I'll tell you what. 1958. They've yeah, had as much heartbreak as anybody. They have been the they have been yeah. the laughing stock of this league for a long time. I, Same I way their what, basketball team needed one. Their yeah, football team. Their football one. team. That's a Browns town. Yeah. It's a Cleveland Browns town. Tom, what Tom Brady could do for them? Can you imagine if Tom Brady showed up on Tuesday on one Wednesday? Oh my God! They probably have a heart attack. Where is Tom Brady? They probably fall off. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm saying if I'm Cleveland, I am making the call because what have you got to lose? Because right now you're a quarterback away, and he. What about if you're Cincinnati? Why not? <laughs> but their D isn't as good as Cleveland. No. I don't think their D is. But their offense. They have better be weapons better. in the passing game. But I think Cincinnati is a more complete team. Cincinnati has a better rushing attack. You mean Cleveland. Cleveland has a better, has a more complete team than Cincinnati. Yeah. I think they're closer. I mean, if Joe Burrow's there, so you feel like Cleveland's a sure thing if you were to join them. Cleveland is perfect for Tom Brady. <laughs> perfect. Oh, and by yeah, the way, Tom cool. Brady would be perfect for Cleveland. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but he's chilling right now. I'm just saying that eighth ring would look really nice with th three different teams. No quarterbacks done well, that. Because then you don't have to put anything on the thumb. The, yeah, all you're missing is the two thumbs. Right. You just you literally go like this. Because you don't want anything on your thumb anyway. No. Bill Russell had a hard time with yeah, that. Yeah, he, he did. He, I mean, he had a double up on one finger. You don't need nine and ten. Hey, poor Bill Russell. Eight. Too many fucking rings, Bill. Cut it at eight. Too many fucking rings, Bill. By the way, that's going to do it for segment one. Segment two, we're going to come back. We're going to talk NBA and college hoops. We are going to make a prediction. We're going to break down the Ohio State-Michigan game this Saturday at 12 o'clock. I think we're getting together for that. Saturday at noon. Are you back? I should be. My you mom, have to find a dude, way. Dude, my mom was sending me the crying emoji when I said we were leaving Saturday morning. Why do moms got to do that? I know. Uh, you know what? We'll talk about mothers, too. Speaking of mother jokes, we'll talk about that in segment <laughs> two. Because my mom pulls that shit, too, and I don't like it. Anyway, we'll see you in segment two. We're going to find Yoda Joe Jay. Happy early Thanksgiving. We'll come back for a little bit of a little early turkey with you, boys and girls. We'll see you in that <laughs> side. Little turkey with little you. Early turkey. A little early bird. A little early bird. A J, a J bird. J bone. Dude, J you're J -bird. spitting everywhere today. I'm a spitter. He really is a spitter. By the way, if you saw Seinfeld, I was the second. Say it, don't I was spray. The second, I was the second spitter. <laughs>